Hello, hello! Welcome back to the Snap on Tri County Tool Show, folks. I uh, I'm gonna start calling these videos uh, "Sales from the Shed." Um, I think that's the best way to go about it because every time the truck breaks down or something uh, goes wrong, a mess where I'm not selling on the truck, I'm selling from the shed. So um, we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of different tools today. Uh, might be a longer video. I might split it into two parts, but the uh, biggest thing is. A lot of great stuff, and uh, I, I don't usually do this much. I'm, I'm going to be selling directly to you guys. Now, obviously, if you're not in my area, uh, I cannot sell to you. But if you are in the area and uh, you don't have time to come to the truck, this is a great way to figure out, well, geez, maybe uh, maybe that great deal on quarter-inch sockets that Joseph was talking about is the best bang for my buck, and it's time to get them. So without further ado, there's going to be a few jump cuts as I move other stuff onto the uh onto the table in front of me here but uh biggest thing is if you have any questions about the stuff uh message me this is going to be cross posted on facebook uh instagram might be a little bit finicky but uh no matter what it's going to be on youtube and it's going to be on facebook so uh, private message me i can't talk pricing on here obviously because uh everyone's pricing may be different depending on how much of the stuff that uh that we've purchased but the biggest thing is i got it here and i'm ready to sell it to you so let's get into it all right so first things first we're gonna go uh I, i'd say big to small but at least uh more explanation to smaller explanation as we go uh first things first we're talking about is our phg f set zero one and i believe this one's an fr because it is in the red foam case now obviously if you want a closer look at that i can make that happen hop on over here joseph and here we are so this is basically uh i guess the reimagined because we we didn't have this kit when i first started carrying these uh these master sets they had a few doubles in the kit which does work out well if you do need uh like a secondary uh a longer length or shorter length if you needed to modify something obviously it's always great to have the right tool for the job but sometimes in a pinch it's great to be able to cut your uh your your long uh chisel or your long uh your long punch to a certain uh level just so you can get the job done in a pinch before uh your snap on guy comes around and gets the uh the right tool for the job for you but this kit uh everything's unique in it so a lot of guys mentioned oh what about the hammer so one's a round head hammer and then the other one is tapered for u joints or any bolts that you're working on that you you'd hammer on that would uh, walk to the side or anything so that you're you're doing the job right they're all labeled which is great for me because obviously there's a few applications i'm not familiar with uh and also here's all the part numbers for them if you're looking for a certain one of the kit if you see something in the kit and you go hey i i should have one of those definitely pause the video let me know uh we can order it in if i i don't have these kits left i don't believe they're going to be on the truck for very long so we do have two of them uh to talk about the actual make of these obviously they are our b model air hammer bits so uh they are made with a zinc clear coat uh basically the finish is made to uh, be a little bit brighter than the gold uh, if you have any of the old gold ones and they do uh fail they are lifetime warranty they are replaced with these guys uh high strength steel obviously uh, with using the snap on air hammer or any of the heavy duty ones you want something that's going to be able to hold up to that impact so great set um and also special pricing available on these two kits only once they're gone they are gone all right and next folks we got to talk about these guys as you saw in my introduction uh we got some master kits of sockets on sale so 18 piece metric socket foam set and the 19 piece standard foam socket set uh, depending on if you need standard or metric depending on the trade or if you're just looking to get the rest of your kit fixed up great way to do it now obviously can't talk pricing i know i sound like a broken record but the way that this this deal basically works is you're buying your regular set of semi-deep sockets whether it's metric or standard whichever ones you need you got them right there but the kicker with this kit is and let me let me come around my table here and actually show you um you actually get your extra sockets now they are uh kind of bounced around in here but you get basically the ones that are missing on the rail i like to say if you have a snap on rail you've probably noticed oh, why do i have a missing spot when i buy a set of snap on sockets well uh, for an example in quarter inch metrics uh your four and your 4.5 aren't usually included they're not the most used sockets but especially on small engine and some smaller electrical connectors you might be seeing more of that 
Now, in these kits, the nice thing is, is when you buy your regular set, you actually get your 4 and your 4.5 to add on to all of your sets. Quarter inch, deep, shallow, and semi-deep, technically free. Now, you didn't hear that from me. Don't uh, hold me accountable for it. Uh, obviously, every truck's different. Every sale's different. But uh, if you're on my truck, we got a great buy one, get one on these. Uh, if you're looking at the sizing, it's 1 8 to 5 8 in your standard and 4 to 15 mil in your metric. Like I said, you buy the semi-deeps, you get a wicked deal there. Moving right into it, we got to talk about the Big Brother sets, the 3 8 as well. So I do only have standard, I believe, left in these. Oh, no, I'm actually fibbing. Uh, as you can tell, this is live taping right now. I'm, uh, I'm finding stuff that I didn't even realize I had. So we got standard and metric, both in stock, uh, 6 to 20 mil. Like I said, about those adding on to those different empty sockets, uh, trays that you already have. Uh, the nice thing is with this kit, you buy your semi-deeps, you get your deep and your shallow in your six, seven, uh, and then obviously you should have, if you don't, I got those on sale as well, eight to 19 mil, and then your 20 mil is also included in these kits as well at a fantastic price. If you don't want to call it a freebie, we can call it a discount. You can get a discount on the whole kit or you can buy separate parts of the kit and get the other parts for free. But again, don't hold me accountable. If I am sold out, it is while supplies last. We are trying to sell as much of this stuff as possible. I say we obviously uh, need a little bit of help with this one and Snap-on's doing great for me where uh, unfortunately my truck has been in the shop. Seems like more than what it's been on the road lately. So another great one. Obviously, uh, I can't talk pricing. Again, broken record being sounded. Uh, but if you read on there, Snap-on can talk pricing, obviously. And we have a fantastic buy one, get one on Torx. I've been told that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Um, the old Nova Scotian accent coming out. Uh, everyone always asks where I'm from. I, I'm wondering if they're just trying to put subtitles on and try to figure out uh, what's going to decipher my language or not. But a uh, really great deal on these when you buy your 12-piece Torx. Uh, driver set you get your 10 piece combination metric set or i believe we have some standards left as well uh they may be on the truck which is unfortunately in the shop but i can still get them to you uh you buy one you get one for free which uh again if you're talking torques the best thing about these and i could talk all day about them which if you do want me to i can you can obviously skip ahead in the video Torx is their own company. The only way that they make money is if they sell their patent, their, their licensing to fastener companies, and of course, to the tools that take those fasteners out. If you do not buy the real McCoy, I like to call them, it's like square heads in, in Canada, Phillips, anything. If you don't get the right one, it's not going to fit in your fastener properly. And especially if you're in the area that I am with the amount of rust that we deal with, it's hard to get a fastener out anyway, uh, especially when you're using the wrong size tool, whether it's too big or too small. So with a set like this, especially with it having everything from, uh, I'm going to cheat here, uh, eight all the way to 55, um, fantastic set. Everything from uh, if you're dealing with uh, seatbelt bolts, depending on what you're working on, some of them are Torx Plus, which actually this is a set of Torx Plus. We have regular Torx as well. Um, or if you're dealing with any caliper bolts for your, your actual hex keys as well. Having a properly machined tool can be the difference between you getting that tool out the, or that fastener out the first time or having to go to one of those lovely sets of snap-on extractors that we also have on sale. So definitely grab one of these sets. I know for a fact I have four available, at least in metric, and I think I have two sets in standard left as well. Big clearance going on as well, guys. So if you do have any questions, um, I should be able to part out these sets as long as they're still in stock and I got a customer that's looking for one or the other, we can always divide it, uh, divide it up. So with that, we'll hop on to the next product and the next product is hammers. Um, we're always here to hammer out a great deal on tools, folks, uh, talking some features and benefits. Cause obviously, you know, I'm going to give you the best deal on the best tools in the world, no matter what, but you need to know why these are the best tools in the world. And obviously there is a video separate on the Facebook and YouTube channel about how these work, the steel shop free flowing canister. But if you happen to have missed that, 
Uh, biggest thing is if you chopped one of these guys down the middle like a sandwich and you wanted to see the insides, uh, you're basically talking about a fiberglass backbone hammer. So you have your shock absorbing backbone in there that keeps it a little bit more rigid, especially if you're giving a good crack on a rotor or anything else that you need to get out of there. It's not going to turn into a wet spaghetti on you. But also with the composite outside, it does absorb a lot more of that shock as well. And with the Comfort Grip handle, it actually has two different handles on there. If you see up here, uh, it's ribbed, obviously. So if you need to choke up on the hammer and get into a tight spot, you can. Or obviously ribbed down here. So if you're really swinging on something, it's not going to slide out of your hand. It's got that extra sheath and kind of like an axe uh, or a sledgehammer or anything like that. And this does hit like a sledgehammer. This is our HBBD 40O for orange, of course, if you're looking at a different color i have uh the whole rainbow you swear i got a bag of skittles with these because it's every color that we have uh, from dark titanium blue orange green red black uh if you need a hammer to match your set or a lot of guys like to actually color code them so if you say grab your orange hammer it's a 40 your green hammer is 32 or whatever else it's a great deal on that but i digress uh, talking about the business end of that hammer and i will tell you the business end of this you do not want to be in business with um, you want to be on the other end of it for sure. Um, this one where it's a 40 ounce, obviously there's 40 ounces of steel shot in here. It is not sand. It is not lead. So you're not going to have that either mush up and become one ball of steel or lead in there, uh, or sand, which is basically just going to dissipate and be nothing after a while. It's just going to be dust. Uh, it does lose a lot of its effectiveness as you use it longer. The steel doesn't really do anything. It, it may dent, but it's never going to uh, smush together. Uh, and as long as it's treated fairly and properly, it should last you a lifetime. If it doesn't, obviously the warranty is there for a reason. Um, but it is free flowing steel shot. And what that basically means is if you shine a really bright light through here, uh, you can actually see that the handle, the fiberglass handle, wraps up around the canister and allows that steel shot to move from one end fully through to the other end. So when you're hammering on something, that goes from the back end to the front end and stops and deadens it. So you're not going to worry about that recoil bouncing up and hitting the fender if you're working on a hub assembly. You're not worried about hitting anything but what you're aiming at, hopefully, if you got good enough aim. Big thing is with these guys, like I said, we got them on sale. Uh, we do have six-piece kits left. If you're looking for the full meal deal from 8, 16, uh, 24, your 32, your 40, and the new 56, uh, you can get them all in one kit. Or obviously, if you already have part of the kit and you just need the, the missing piece of the puzzle, we got those on sale too. All right, so uh, they, here's my quiz to you guys. What does over 680 different ball joints, 315 individual models, and it can be added on up to 14 different additional adapters to do another 30 models, make some models of vehicles? What does it? There's only one out there, and it is... I'll try to carry this and not make a complete fool of myself because I'm not as much of a man as some of you guys. Oh, it's a little heavy. Our BJP1. Now, I did bounce it around in here a little bit. So, uh, you know what? Come a little bit closer. Come a little closer. And here it is in all its glory, folks. The BJP1. And a lot of guys always say, uh, I've had this comment before. Why do you make a big deal when these come on sale? And well, the biggest thing is, is they are hard to get. Um, I don't know uh, if it's just everyone's looking for them and they're always on back order or uh, if it's just uh, to get the materials to make it or uh, what. But obviously, uh, they are U.S. made. They are the best ball joint press on the market. Uh, you can fight me in the comments all you want. I have yet to find one that is this good. And when I say that, I mean it has been machined properly to fit into a vise. It's actually modeled after our anchor pin press, of course, higher torque applications. So you can use it with an impact gun. Uh, of course, you get all your different cups for, I said, those 315 different makes, uh, over 680 individual ball joints. And uh, like I said, I can't talk pricing on here, but I can say... The next guy who buys one of these, or gal, I don't judge, um, you're actually going to get the RAM removal and installer kit. Drop tested, I'll tell you, it is pretty strong. 
uh, ball joint remover and installer for Dodge Ram and Sterling vehicles. So it's for your bigger stuff. Obviously, if you're not a, uh, a fan of that, if you don't work on any of those larger vehicles, then it's no big deal. Um, but when you purchase this set from me, I have one left. If you buy it, I'm giving you that guy for free. So keep that in mind. Now, obviously, I got to show you why this thing is better. And I'm going to hop you back up on my tripod. All right. Now, I think it's probably better that I do it a little bit closer up. Obviously, you don't want to see my face, but you definitely want to see the face of joy when you lock those together and everything doesn't fall apart. So obviously, when you're using this on a, a vehicle, say you're you're positioning everything and the, the position isn't correct. And then obviously you take the uh the the force off of it and it drops whatever cup you have on the end or whatever installer or remover that you're working with all the cups go it's 52 pick up your cursing and swearing wouldn't it be nicer if you had a retaining ring adapter that holds everything in place and that's exactly what snap has done so uh again i i'm very confident in saying that this is the best ball joint press on the market for one the quality of it for two the ingenuity of it and three the ability to add on if you ever need certain uh, makes and models i know a lot of guys mention acura if you are a big acura tech there are a few adapters for honda and acura that, that have specific ball joints that don't go across multiple different makes and models obviously to be able to do 680 different ones there's a lot that are cookie cutter that work on one and the other they're kind of adaptable in between now if you do need specialty ones like for example the dodge one i don't know if you can tell but that is uh dished it's basically tapered so that it'll fit uh specifically on those certain makes and models it, it applies for most but not all and then we have the adapters for the rest as well so great deal on this again if you're looking for one message me i'll give you pricing and obviously where my truck is broke down i can make a personal home delivery to you if you are in the area so on to the next tool so yeah but wait i did i just come from that side but I mean, either way um i gotta say we have uh, I'm, I'm very excited to say our new CDR 9050 finally released. Now, uh, we all make mistakes. Uh, I'm definitely going to say this has probably my, been my biggest one. And uh, what I mean by that is, uh, if you're familiar with Snap-on cordless stuff, we've had our CDR 90, or I should say a 9015s for one. Uh, our cordless drill, uh, brushless drill, released now for about a year now. I think around August it was released. Um, before that, we had our CT88 or CDR, I should say 8850H, and our C, a CDR8850 uh, without an H, and that was our hammer drill and our regular drill. Now, you could tell the difference right off the bat. You could look at one and go, okay, that's the hammer drill. It was a lot longer, a lot more bulky. The other one was not. It was a lot lower profile, which was great. Uh, main issue that we've had with drills, and that's just basically all cordless drills. As they've progressed, they've gotten more torquey and been more uh, in the in the way of what an air drill was. A lower profile, higher torque. Obviously, for drilling, you don't always need that high torque. You don't want to break a drill bit, but you also want to be able to have that low speed, low torque or high torque, I should say, application. So when you do have it go a little bit slower, you're not tapering that torque down as well. Now, this is our CDR 9050. This is our CDR 9015. I had these sitting in a box thinking they were extra CT90 or uh, CDR 9015s for, I'd have to say, a good month before I realized, hey, where are these the hammer drills? I, I I was billed for them. I was wondering where they were. I thought, well, geez, I, I got a lot of 9015s. Maybe I should try to blow those out. They look almost identical. The only real difference is this one's 0.2 of a pound heavier. Uh, and of course, it's got your switch on the top. Now, I'm going to bring you over and we're going to do the tail of the tape. All right, folks, here we go. So I hope you can understand why i got these two mixed up unless i was reading the box they look basically identical so again cdr 9050 cdr 9015 if i keep saying that back and forth in my head i'm sure i will never have this happen again but the biggest thing is obviously they both work off the same power system they both have the same um handle assembly that just clamps on the top instead of having something that goes the whole way around the drill now allows for a lot straighter drilling and obviously a lot easier getting on and getting off um with your hammer drill you do have your driver drilling and hammer settings 
fantastic uh, selection on these guys, obviously. Uh, one thing I can talk about, uh, obviously, we do have some kits with batteries, with chargers, whatever you need for home. Uh, I had a guy who hopped onto the truck and said one popped him in the mouth. Uh, he was drilling along, it, it fetched up and hit him. And that was his sales pitch. He said, that's all I needed to see. Once he uh, he knew that he couldn't stop it one-handed, he, he needed a drill. So obviously, if you're looking for high RPM, these things will go up to around 2,000 RPM. I believe on the back here, you can have some specs there. Uh, around 2,000 RPM on two and on one it'll go to about 420 obviously one is going to give you that higher torque specification um but no matter what you're able to do whatever you need now these obviously are made with a half inch uh i believe it's a single chuck steel chuck but obviously uh if you are looking for one of these guys um we can do a little bit of a write-up on them. I am very happy with the uh, the hammer drill so far. I've been selling them for about a week now, and uh, everyone seems to love them. So if you want one, we got a few left in stock. All right, so now to the fun part of the video. Now, I know everyone's already skipped to this part, so I'll say hello, hello. Welcome back to the Snap on Tri-County Tool Show. Um, we got a bunch of giveaways to figure out how to get rid of. Now... Uh, I did just give away one of these guys. Uh, it's a very lovely Snap-on bicycle and with the help of some movie magic. And there you have it, folks, with a little bit of movie magic. The bike is together. Uh, obviously, built by yours truly. It's a little bit, uh, uh, I guess, the torque specs may not have been met yet. Obviously, we'd let, uh, let you guys do that. It is for sale. It is for trade. It is for... Uh, for giveaway so obviously if there was anything that you were looking for in this video or any other video that i've made uh let me know hopefully we can give this away i uh, i have plenty of stuff so as long as this video doesn't cut off abruptly and uh in a more in memoriam is played because of me perishing and jumping off this thing um we should have a bunch of other stuff that we're going to be showing you as well that is going to be given away with certain items that are uh that are on the truck right now or in the uh in the snap-on shed so Let's get to that as well. All right, and last but not least, after doing some acrobatics, uh, for one, uh, joke's on you. You thought you were getting rid of me that easy? Uh, not yet. But as you can tell behind me, I got a little display. I'm going to go over all of it. Uh, basically, the biggest gist about it is it's all stuff that we've gotten through. Uh, buy one, get one stuff. Maybe the, the tools just didn't sell or the customer decided, you know what, Joseph? If you buy it back from me for this amount, give me a discount off the tools. We go from there. So I'm looking to clear out all of this stuff. Um, let's get it. Alrighty, it. alrighty, folks. Now, obviously, quantities are very very limited this is sometimes a one-off or two-off type of thing uh there is some things in here that uh, are on current promotions that i just have ordered double or triple of that we got some extras but going first of all if you remember our promotion last year on the snap on growlers we do have a chrome growler left a brand new in the box customer who won it was under the drinking age he said hey i don't want it for mountain dew um give me a deal on something else so i got that guy available uh, we got some snap on dog bowls we have some 3d wooden puzzles from this christmas uh game totes a game tote from last christmas uh one of these guys was uh was hidden away i didn't realize i still had it so i uh, would like to get rid of that snap on golf bag i know we got some golfers on the page if you're looking for one of those if you're looking for a wooden storage box now this guy will be on the picture now perfect hopefully my editing skills have gotten better it should be on the page uh if not obviously look it up uh they are pretty popular um i know my little guy's got one upstairs he absolutely loves it it's huge um for holding a lot of toys and stuff so great sizing ceramic cookie jars retro smoothie makers this is one of the deals that was from last year um really fantastic deal on ratchets when you bought a ratchet you got one of these guys for free if you want that deal i still can do it if you don't want some of the other stuff that we got given away uh bluetooth noise canceling headphones a snap-on backpack really great for traveling i do have one of these as well a lot of this stuff i can talk from uh actual experience 
great for a carry-on bag. You're not going to beat up your electronics. It's a great way to, uh, to carry your laptop or any of that good stuff. We have our two-pack of Snap-on beer. I, I, I guess you call them like a bar stool. Um, they're really great quality bar stool. I didn't realize how expensive bar stools can be. So obviously, if you're looking for a nice deal on a buy one, get one. As you can tell with what's on them, you might know what we'd be able to give you a freebie with. And then... What Snap-on has just given away in Snap-on Super Speedway, I actually have an extra electric smoker. So, all this stuff, and of course, hats, t-shirts, jackets, we got a bunch of other stuff as well. But if there's anything that you're looking for, for a birthday, Christmas, Easter, belated Easter, uh, any other... Uh, holiday you might be celebrating present wise or maybe just a present to you if you saw a promotional item that you liked and you want to make a deal on it let me know and with that and uh obviously with the bike in the background as well thanks again for watching the video if you seen anything that you liked let me know uh if you didn't like anything in the video and you want me to change something uh definitely let me know that as well and uh we'll be talking very very soon thanks